On today's program and soon on the screen, we'll take a sneak peek at the fantasy film The Seventh Son by the director Sergei Bodrov. Recently, a photo exhibition was held in Almaty with participation of Kazakhstan stars. See the story in the feature art event. And in our special On the Front Line today, we will tell you about the Republican Museum of Books. The hero of today's program and master has it is a famous Kazakh comedian, director and producer Nirtas Adambayev. Soon on the big screen, we will see a fantasy film directed by Sergei Bodrov called The Seventh Son, based on the novel by Joseph Delaney, The Spook's Apprentice. The film was produced in the USA, the UK, Canada, and China. Since ancient times, there has been a struggle of the forces of light and of darkness, and balance is the only thing that can silence the war. The film takes a look at the difficult fate of a man named Tom Ward, who was by coincidence the seventh son of a father who himself was also a seventh son. He was destined then to become a warlock, but it wasn't so simple after all. To become a true magician, one must go through many trials and to learn all the different things. He becomes a pupil of an experienced magician called the Master Gregory. It is he who helps the young student to pass all of his exams and destroy the dark forces. The budget is $120 million. It stars Ben Barnes, Jeff Bridges, Julian Moore, and Alicia Vikander. Recently, a photo exhibition was held in Almaty entitled Look Outside, Out of Time, organized by the well-known Kazakh makeup artist Irina Khabar and her team of stylists and photographers. Kazakhstan's pop stars, film stars, and media personages participated in the exhibition as models. Among those who were captured by the photographer's lenses was the TV host Fima Ivanov, designers Leonid Zhiribtsov, Salta, and Mikhail Kravitz. Also seen was actress Asel Sagatova and Aisulu Ajambayeva, as well as the actor Yevgeny Zhumanov and publicly known figure Arujan Sain, and many other well-known celebrities of our country. At the presentation of the exhibition was also held the fashion show and a charity auction of designer products and photos. All collected funds will be transferred to the charity funds We Are Against Breast Cancer to help Kazakh women. Known Kazakhstani designers provided exclusive outfits specially created for this auction. We wanted to create something new, something different from what is happening in the market. We wanted more creativity because it operates outside of the world of commerce and it gives some kind of framework. And here we can do what we want. And so this idea was born. We wanted to do something for ourselves, for the soul. The theme of the exhibition was out of time. It is made up of such eclectic subjects. Everything is combined here, such as love, human relationships, beauty, femininity, satire, weaknesses, sins, and the duality of human nature. And we wanted to show that while there are different people, nevertheless, both good and bad exist in each person. It is outside of time, and people do not change. Human values have remained the same, as well as our vices and our sins. I think this is a great initiative, because money collected from the auction will go to the fight against breast cancer. It is a good charity event, and I am very glad that I am a part of this exhibition. Today in our feature on the front line, we will tell you about the Republican Museum of Books. It was founded more than 30 years ago and the museum presents visitors with six exhibition halls. In the first hall, there is an exhibition of the development of world literature. The second hall covers a period from the 11th to the 19th century. The third room contains ancient manuscripts 
and the fourth hall tells the story of the Kazakh intelligentsia. The fifth and sixth rooms are modern and show us the becoming of our president, Nursultan Nazarbayev. Here we can see the works of the head of state and books written by him. The National Museum of Books was opened on October 20th in 1978. It is the only one of such museums in Central Asia. It is the third scale museum in the CIS after Moscow and Kiev's Museum of Books. At the moment we have more than 50,000 exhibits. The most expensive exhibit in our museum is a Quran written in the 17th century using gold ink. And there is a book also written in 1831 by Mullah Mohammed Jan Samarkand and a collection of poems by Alishir Navai. John Draper's book, History of the Intellectual Development of Europe, is also in our museum. It is interesting that its author is John Draper, an American, and for 10 years it was the handbook of Mukhtar Oesiv during the writing of the epic novel, Abai's Way. Our museum exhibits cover periods from five to six centuries, from petroglyphs to modern books. Our museum has been visited by the great writers such as Gabit Musrepov. He presented to our museum his book called Kazakh Soldiers. Also the wife of Sabit Mukhanov, Mayram Apa, was in our museum. Also the exposure was visited by many politicians. Books have accompanied us since ancient times, and without books in our country, there is no history. The hero of today's program is the famous Kazakh comedy actor, director and producer, Nurtas Adambayev. His career began in the early 2000s when he played for the national team of KVN, first at the university and then for KVN's national team, Astana.kz. He has been in the big leagues for a while now. Two to three years later, after entering the big leagues of KVN, I realized that this step must be considered finished. I do not want to stagnate. I do not want to be a KVN player forever and then, in principle, it was clear that I only had one way which I would like to go, television. After finishing his career in KVN, Nurtas and his colleagues launched the show Funny Radio, then the famous sketch Ar Kazakhsha, and the series Escape from the Village. Characters played by Nurtas and his projects are loved all over the country and become truly popular and recognizable. But his major success at the moment, Nurtas believes, is his debut film entitled Kelika Sabina. The film was warmly received by audiences and critics and performed impressively at the box office, and it brings its creators real production success. I am glad that I have crossed some sort of threshold. That is, this production was previously on KVN, and after KVN TV shows, then it was put on a serial. But now I realize after the show that there is something new. It's a movie. You can lose faith in everybody and everything, but you can never lose faith in yourself. If you lose faith in yourself, then you will lose everything. And what's more, if every time I just listen to the people who told me, you can't do it, or we don't need it, or you need to try something else. If even one time I just dropped my hands down and said, yes, they're right, they know better than me, then probably nothing would have happened. In the movie Kelen Sabina, Nortas acted as a leading actor, director, producer and screenwriter. It is really cool when you can control the whole process by yourself. Of course there is more work and responsibility, but then you don't lose your freedom. There is already some formed opinions of what components need to be in a good movie. And when I wrote Kelenka Sabina, I realized that a man dressing like a woman is funny, but I didn't want to turn it into some sort of clowning. And I didn't want her comedy to be just slapstick, funny falls or funny running. I wanted instead to bring some kind of essence and, of course, if you want to hook the viewer, it's necessary to make the audience empathize with your hero. I understand now that if you want to achieve something in this life, you don't need to wait on someone else. You need to give some leniency. 
I'm probably a happy person because my work didn't become my hobby and my favorite thing. Rather, I was able to make my hobby into my work. Now I have a dream and perhaps it is to make a movie that will go down in the history of Kazakhstan cinema.